everybody welcome back to my channel just denise it's me courtney denise and we are back with another video yeah yeah mom over birth me i had a crown yeah, yeah. this is my destiny plaguing now getting high so in today's video, as you can see by the title, I will be giving you all the pros and cons of this style that I did in my hair, which is faux locks. And yes, I'm about to take my hair down already. Look, 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 look. Don't do that. Like, I don't need no judgmental vibes today. Like, good vibes only. Don't judge me. I know y'all. Just put them in. But I'm going to tell y'all why I'm taking them down, and I'm going to give you the pros and cons. So if you would like to see that, please continue to watch. But before we jump into the video, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel, y'all. We have reached 10,000 subscribers. I really did. Okay, look, let's let's look at the count. The count to be exact as of October 4th, which is Friday, 2.03 p.m., we are at 10,019 subscribers. So I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that has subscribed to my channel, watches my videos, comments, likes, shares my stuff on social media. Like I truly, truly, truly appreciate y'all. Like y'all, I'm so excited. And make sure if you are not subscribed, you need to subscribe and hit that bell notification because we're gonna do a giveaway. So I will have a video coming up on the giveaway details, but that's not this one, so boom. Now, I know y'all thinking like, dang, she did that out of order because usually she welcomed the newcomers. I'm gonna welcome y'all. That's what I'm gonna do, but let me tell y'all something. The majority of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Why? Like, why you come back? Like, you come back and watch every video, like every one. Uh, even if it's a couple seconds, a couple minutes, like you come back and nobody can watch my video for a couple seconds. Y'all better not be doing that. Watch the videos all the way through because they be good. But you come back and watch my videos all the time and you are not subscribed, like, I'ma wait. Go ahead and subscribe. Let me check my social media real quick. A few moments later. No, but for real. Okay. All right. So let's get into this. So the things that I have in front of me, I have a Walmart plastic bag. I have my dimming brush. I have some scissors and just my pick and a comb. And we're going to take these locks down and I'm going to tell you why and blah, blah, blah. So if I'm looking this way, it's because there's a mirror right here. I don't know where I put my little Desk mirrors, I'll be glad when I get an actual desk so I can keep my stuff organized. However, let's get to going. I wrote stuff down, y'all, hold on. Cause y'all, my brain is fried. So I definitely wrote stuff down to share with you all. Um, and we gonna get, to, I'm, I'm cutting as we talking, y'all. I'm not about to play with this. Cause I still gotta get my kids from school and everything else. But um, I wrote some things down, just some pros and cons on faux locks in general, the way that I did it, other methods you can do it, and so on and so forth. So if you did not know, just a quick back story, I did have dreadlocks for 16 months. I did do a big chop here recently, and I will definitely link that up above. Look at this hang time. Ow. And then I came back with the video where I did a hot oil treatment on my hair as well. And then I put in this protective style, which are, of course, the faux locks. Now, um, this is like a new natural hair journey thing for me, protective styling. And I'm just going to let y'all know right now, I will probably change my hair up a lot. In a sense, while all at the same time, not trying to touch it, but I probably touch my hair a lot or change it up a lot because that's the type of person I am. And since I can do my hair myself and save money, like, since what? We about to switch it up. There was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia. braids, crochets, wigs, all of that. So go ahead and subscribe. Now a little bit of dirt 
knots have formed and they were not up that long. I don't remember how long they were up. This was actually my first time having faux locks and I actually did them myself as well. I will say installing them, it didn't take that long. I think because I didn't put my parts really small and I move fast as a braider anyway. I'm a braider. It didn't take that long to install. However, doing them on someone else's head and maybe plaiting their hair before versus doing, you know, the lazy method that I did. This style can be very time consuming. Like, I know it, people who say they don't like doing faux locks because it literally takes them 10 to 12 to 14 hours. I know some people, depending on the length and the width that you get the faux locks, they might do it in a two-day span. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So the method that I chose to do them, I can see myself doing that method no matter how long my hair get. Now, of course, I might incorporate in more twisting it, you know, on all the pieces, but I don't, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can say I will never plait my hair before doing the faux locks. However, the way that I did it also, I think a con to the way, I mean, not a con, I think a pro to the way that I did decide to do this, it made my locks very flexible, like very flexible. I was able to put them up in a ponytail the same day. And when I was watching videos on people with faux locks and the pros and cons and all of that, a lot of people were saying like they're so stiff and they hurt so bad and they're so tight that you can't put them up the same day. And that can definitely be a major con to faux locks if you don't do it like the crochet method that I did. Now, I did not use the crochet hair because I don't like the crochet hair faux locks. I don't like how they look. I think they're too soft. Sometimes you can finesse them and make them look good. Look, y'all, we're gonna take this down. Sometimes you can finesse them and make them look good, but for the most part, I think the crochet, the actual crochet faux locks are just disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Y'all, I don't know when I installed these faux locks. I will say I think I've had the faux locks up a week, I think, maybe two. Like, if two might be stretching it. I think I've had them up for a week, a week and a half, something like that. But the reason I'm taking them down is not because... You know, I don't like them. I didn't enjoy them because I can honestly say I can see myself doing this style in my hair again. I would make them a little bigger because I would want them a little fuller. I do feel like the way that I did them, they weren't too cute when they were hanging. Like they were, but they weren't in my eyes. Like, I don't know. A lot of people complimented me the night that I wore them down, but to me, I didn't like how they looked. So I think next time I would either do my part smaller or the same size, but I would get different hair for sure as far as the hair that I'm wrapping. And then I would make them a little thicker and probably a little longer too now that I know how to do them. Hold on, y'all. Okay, because you, look, you'll be mad when you cut your hair when you ain't trying to cut your hair. When you're trying to cut your hair and cut your hair, that's fine. But when you ain't trying to cut your hair and cut your hair, honey, that is nerve-wracking. Ouch! <laughs> but as y'all can see, yes, I big chop, but my hair is still pretty lengthy. Up here was in dreadlocks, and then back here was an undercut that I grew out, so they are basically the same length. All of the black part is new growth that I did not twist when I had my locks, and then, of course, I've had some new growth from now. My hair grows really fast. Like, that's what y'all will see on this natural hair journey. My hair grows fast as shit. So, let's get more into the list of the, the pros and the cons. So, I don't have too many cons. I will not lie, y'all. If I look crazy, I'm, I'm taking my hair down. Like, don't come on here and judge me. But I do not have too many cons because this is a very, very, very low maintenance style. Like, I love this style. I can definitely say I will be doing these on myself again, especially for this holiday season. They are very low maintenance. Like, I can see myself doing these on my daughter's hair, on my niece's hair. 
I'm not going to say I'm not willing to start offering them as of yet because I do not offer faux locks to my clientele. However, comma, just know that if you get your faux locks done by me, they are going to be pricey because it's time consuming. But I will do this style again because it's a very low maintenance style. Like you can literally get up and go. Like when I had my dreadlocks, I could get up and go. And these faux locks are no different. So I definitely love that about them. I love the look, of course. It definitely, if you cut off your dreadlocks, I will say this. If you cut off your dreadlocks and let's say you're missing your dreadlocks or you still want that feeling, definitely get faux locks. Because I will say from cutting off my dreadlocks or my locks and doing faux locks, a lot of people was just like, you cut your locks just to get fake locks. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Whatever. But it, it, it does make it... It does mimic it. So it does make it feel like, okay, I still have dreads. So I like that about them as well. Um, it definitely covers all of your hair. Like this hair is black and as you can see, I have brown tips, but you cannot see that in my locks. So it covers your entire hair, your entire strands of hair. And I really like that. Um, Y'all, let me clip these out because I don't know why I'm just, you know. Well, let me clip a few. <laughs> Cutting these out were really simple. I will say if your hair is longer than mine, obviously my hair is like TWA type hair. So I know I can cut them real short. Be careful, you do not want to cut your hair. Like seriously, be careful. Oh Lord, I was about to say, I said be careful and then I cut my hair, but I remember I put a brown piece of weave in there. And like two or three to braid so all right so these are out so the takedown is gonna be way quicker now another thing that i love about these they get better with time y'all like i'm only taking these out because i want to switch it up since we're going on our cruise and i'm wearing a specific a specific style for the cruise i want to give my scalp a little break and we're going to be leaving here soon and my scalp needs a break. <laughs> also, Philip loved my TWA when it was out and I did put it up right away. So I am kind of satisfying him as well because we have a few things to attend this weekend. Um, this is our anniversary weekend, which is Sunday. It will be a year. Me and Philip have been together. Y'all see how big my smile? <laughs> my smile always get like cheesy big when I talk about him. He ain't all that. He is not all that. But, y'all, my hair is soft. The high oil treatment, check it out. But we have our anniversary on Sunday. I'm going backwards. Saturday is our nephew's birthday party, which is his sister and brother-in-law's son. His birthday party is tomorrow, and we all planned on going to that. However, comma, I forgot Ramila has a volleyball tournament tomorrow. So, Philip and the girls will be going to that, and I will be going to support my baby at her volleyball game. And then tonight, which is Friday, we are going out with some friends that we haven't been out with in a while. And then also, we are going over our friend's house because it's her birthday. Shout out to T-Mac. Happy birthday, boo. Actually, we're going to have drinks with her tonight, but I forgot her birthday dinner is tomorrow at 7. And then also on Sunday, look, I'm just, just like it's backwards. We went from Sunday to Friday, Friday to Sunday. Also Sunday for our anniversary, we are going to go try out Lolo's Chicken and Waffles. I might vlog that. Let me know if y'all want me to vlog that because this video will either be up tonight, Friday, or it will be up Saturday morning because Sunday morning I have a interesting video for you all. So that involves me and Philip. So 
Come on, man. If you ain't subscribed, I'm telling you. That's what you want to do. Because we just hit 10K and we going to be growing every day. <gasps> bars. I know y'all miss me hitting them bars for y'all. So I just thought I'd throw that in. Oh, that Marley hair cute, girl. Might have to try a style with that one day. No, but for real. Another thing that is a pro, and I'm being so lazy with these rubber bands, but my hair is still really oily or moisturized. I will say that. The hot oil treatment before these braids, y'all know I just was about to start one sentence and I jumped to something else. But the hot oil treatment before putting in protective styles, I will definitely recommend. So depending on how much I do to my hair this week, might determine if I do another hot oil treatment before I put in my next protective style because my hair, if y'all can tell, is still really shiny and it's really moist, like oily. My fingers are like mad oily. Not mad oily, but they are. So my hair is still really moisturized. It look really cute. Like it don't look too dirty. Of course, Courtney, you didn't have them up long. How they gonna look dirty and you didn't even have them up long? Whatever. People get hair dirty. People's hair get dirty in a week. But they don't slip out and they last long. Like a lot of, y'all don't talk about me how I'm taking this out. Like it's basically slipping out. I'm not being rough and I'm not pulling no hair out with my rubber bands. I will show y'all, but um, see, see that? You see that? And this is weave hair that's on me. So, no. Oh, it fell. I was about to do this. No hair is coming out with these rubber bands whatsoever. So, like I told y'all when I was doing this style, it depends on how you take care of it and how you pull it out and apply rubber bands on if they are safe or not for your hair. But they don't slip out. So, I could see wearing this style for a long time. A lot of pros and cons videos that I watched or just faux lock videos that I watched, a lot of people were saying that they kept theirs up for two and three months. Like, now, make sure you oil and moisturize and all that. But the older they look, like, the better they look. Mine were just starting to get that, you know, not real old look, but getting a little old. And they were cute. So, I, I'm like I keep saying, I'm going to probably try this style soon again within this holiday season probably like an ombre color or something like that so stay tuned for that last but not least on what i'll say about the pros they are very lightweight and flexible 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 depending on how you get them done so and that's going to take me into the cons of faux locks this style can be extremely tight especially if people don't do like the crochet method and i'm not talking about using crochet hair i'm talking about doing the crochet method that i did when i installed my faux locks if people do not do that crochet method these locks can be extremely tight and extremely tight hair can do a lot of damaging and then you lose the whole point of protective styling it can mess with your scalp it create bumps some people, you know, I see some people's create sores. Like, yo, it's it's not worth it. Like, do the crochet method. It's simple. Some people don't want rubber bands on their hair. I would rather have some rubber bands on my hair oiled up very nicely and pulled out just right, even if they just pulled out just like this and get no hair on it. None. Like, use the rubber band method because if you don't, you ain't gonna be able to pull up your faux locks for a long time because they're gonna be so tight that they hurt. Like it's gonna pull your scalp. Some people even said that they had to sleep like this for like a week. What? A whole week? Girl, that style would have been out my head so goddamn quick. But that's why I don't pay other people for real, for real, to do my hair. And if I pay you to do my hair, it's a style that I either have not perfected, know that you can do bomb as hell on, or I'm just being lazy. But if I'm being lazy, I'm gonna be a safe lazy and get like box braids or single ease twists or something like that. Faux locks, I don't think I would ever allow anybody to do my faux locks unless I see that they do the method similar to mine or one that won't cause so much tension on the scalp because that is definitely a con. This style can be very uncomfortable. Mine were even kind of tight, so trust me. The TV, okay, here I come. Another con to faux locks is they can be very heavy. 
If you are one of those girls that like your locks real long and depending on how that person installs them, they can be heavy. Now, again, I know I just said that they were very lightweight. That's because how I installed mine, it depends on how long you get them, the number of faux locks you get them, and how much hair or what you decide to use in them. Because if you're using Calacaline hair to do like the box braid under the faux lock and then the faux lock, you have to understand, along with length, that can get heavy. Again, damage into your scalp, it pulls at your scalp, can create ball spots and all that. You don't want that. Now, a con that some people may find a con, and I'm not going to say I do or don't because I only have mine up for a week, and then I can go long periods of time without washing my hair, and I don't mind. But with faux locks, I'm going to say you can't really wash your hair because you're not going to get to anything but your scalp hair, not the hair that the other hair is wrapped around because it's completely covered. To me, that's why it's a really good ideal protective style. But like I said, some people might find that as a kind that they can't really wash their hair in faux locks. Like they could wash their hair in let's say like box braids. I did not experience this particular con, but if you burn the locks at the end, it will snag on your clothing and it will stick together. I know a lot of people say that that's one thing that they hate about faux locks, especially if you don't do the goddess locks. A lot of people have that snagging of the clothes or it attracts lint. That's a, a, another kind. But again, I didn't really have those problems because I did burn my ends just a little bit, but I'm more so wrapped up and dependent on that last strand of hair to secure my locks and then what I did with the palm roll. So I didn't really specifically encounter that kind, but I can see how that could be a problem as well. Now, last but not least, unless you are really, you know, talented or, you know, I'm not gonna say other people that can't do their hair aren't talented, but if you can do your own hair, I would highly suggest you do your own faux locks because faux locks can be expensive. Like I said, if I ever look in, oh, look. Like I said, if I was to ever pay someone to do this style, I would really have to see and witness how they put them in. Because, honey, the sign of it being too tight, nah, we ain't even got to finish. But let me pay you for your time. Cause, but I'm not about to do that to myself because I can do it myself. However, comma, they're expensive. So that can be a con because some people are charging anywhere from $200. i have even seen people charge... 300 350 for faux locks so depending on who you go to how they install them how long you want them how big you want them they can get pricey so definitely keep that in mind all right you guys i have taken out all my locks and i'm not gonna lie it feels so good oh i know i ain't supposed to scratch my head but lord the fingers feel good but the nails ooh. Hold on, y'all. So yeah, my scalp needs to breathe. Well, here is the length of my hair. As you can see, it is. Oh, don't 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 do me. Don't try to steal the show. It is two tone. I really like my hair like this. I've had my hair like this before. I colored it uh, uh, auburn or whatever. It grew out and of course it grows like this. But for me to have cut it and I still have a good amount of length and color and two tone color, like I really like it. But we gonna wrap up this video. I hope you all enjoyed this little chit chat takedown video, pros and cons of faux locks fake dregs, fox locks, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, I definitely would recommend this style, especially for protective styling. It is an amazing protective style. It's just like with any style, you have to be careful on what you do, how you get them installed, in the matter of taking care of them, wrapping them up at night and things of that sort. I will not lie. I did not wrap my hair up. I think I maybe wrapped my hair up maybe one night, two at the max and it still looked dang good. So if you are looking forward to or thinking about getting faux locks, definitely consider them. Just do more research on who's doing your faux locks and how they are going to install them. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. Do not forget to subscribe, especially if you made it to the very end of the video and you still have not subscribed and you have watched more than one video. Come on, y'all, we got a new goal to hit. I love you all so much. Watch another video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.